97 cents, baby. How many fish are we losing today? Oh, found you found the box. They were hiding it they from us. Dollar eighty-six, dollar ninety-six. Oh, they're soaked in there. What is that? There we go. That feels good. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Are we on? We're on. Oh, oh yeah. That's a five pounder you just flipped in here. Tore the skirt off of it. Weird. Let's go. Oh, he's going around another brush pile. No, dude, it's a good one. Grab it, Andrew. Oh! Dear Lord, it's gross out here today. Oh, God. It is quite the nasty day down here in Southeast Alabama. Lucy, it's okay, girl. Don't be scared. I know y'all don't like the bad weather. It's okay, girl. It's okay. She does not like thunder. My guy Charlie here has just uh, decided to take refuge in the doghouse and only greet me with the tip of his nose. Boop. Charlie, are you okay? The rain is really picking up now. The backyard pond is just flooding today. Tons of water coming in. There's water just gushing out of that overflow pipe right there right now. Speaking of ponds overflowing, we have had a ton of flooding rain down here in the south for the past like week or two. But I was really worried because the micro pond across the street, you know, when it floods, it, it can take on some damage. And all it's gonna take to blow that thing out is just a really heavy rain one day. So here's what it looks like right now. Guys, we are in the middle of thunderstorms right now in the southeast. We have just gotten some crazy bad weather over the last couple days. And I gotta go check on the mini pond because I have a bad feeling that we might be getting some damage soon with all this rain. Or that maybe our fish are getting washed out. I, I don't know, we've gotten like over six inches of rain in just a couple days. Oh, there's also some turkeys in the field. Turkeys! Hello, friends. <laughs> I just fricked my lens up. Oh yeah, it is moist. There's just something about a rain that just gets the turkeys out. Oh, thank goodness. For some reason, I had like this weird feeling that the dam was gonna give way or something. Guys, look how much water is flowing through the pipe right now. Like it's, it is gushing through there, coming up from this creek, comes out of the side of the hill right there. The pipe is absolutely flowing. I don't know that I've ever seen that much water coming out of it at one time before like that. Looks like somebody took the normal water flow and cranked it up to like 10. The water's flowing so fast that the spillway can't even do its job. And it's just, the water's just spilling over the entire wall right there instead of just that little section that's supposed to. The water line over there is really high. Look at that, it's almost going over the entire dam right there. We've got trees that have been knocked down in the creek down there. I'm trying to see Timmy, but the water is just so dirty because of the flooding. I don't see Timmy anywhere. Timmy too, I should say. If you listen closely, you might hear some thunder off in the distance. That's because we're actually in between a couple really bad bands of weather right now. So I'm going to have to run out of here, run back to the house, because I don't want to get caught out in it. Just wanted to make sure the place had not blown out or the dam wall had blown out or anything like that. We still got about 24 hours of storms down here in Alabama. I hope the pond makes it. Ooh, it is getting nasty out there, folks. Thank goodness the micro pond seems like it's gonna be okay for now. I'm gonna give you guys an update on Timmy 2 and the remaining fish, whether or not there are any, um, here really soon. I'd love to be filming this intro out in the shop, but uh, the middle roof plus rain does not equal good audio. Speaking of not good audio, the reason why I'm filming this intro here and not at Walmart is because our intro was basically ruined because of our microphone just decided it was gonna go out on our big cam. So the intro sounded something like this. Yeah, so that wasn't gonna work. But as far as today's video, obviously we went to Walmart in Texas. Now we were in Texas for like five days, six days total, filming Guggen Squad episodes, filming other content for the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed that little trip. But this was the last send of the trip. This was the last big fishing expedition. And what we wanted to do was go to Walmart and find all of the cheapest lures that we could. It's a challenge we've done on the channel before, but we've never done it in Texas. And I wanted to see what a Texas Walmart had to offer. 
And the goal is simple. Take all of those extremely cheap Walmart items out of a Texas Walmart, take them to this trophy bass lake, and try to catch big bass. I wanna hear from you guys, what is your number one go-to cheapest fishing lure from Walmart that you know you can catch fish on? Sit back, relax, enjoy some cheap fishing lures, catching some big bass. See you guys at the end. Well, first impressions of this fishing section is, it's a huge fishing section. Even bigger than our one back home in Alabama, I think. It's like multi-aisle, tons of rods and pre-made combos. The lure section, which is where we're staying right now, is stacked. It's like a double wall situation. Andrew already made a great observation already. Remember like the 99 cent spinnerbaits that used to be on the bottom in like buckets? Oh, did you find Found one? it, dude. Oh, you found one. Perfect, well, hold on to that. It's a dollar spinnerbait. We know we're gonna need that. But the Ozark Trail ones used to be a dollar. Look at them now, two. 48. They are not playing anymore. Found more? I found two more, dude. What? what color do you want? Dude, we just need to buy all of them. I like just get all thought. of them. Get I'll all of them. I like it. We're seeing a lot of lures that might fall into the category. I'm just not sure yet. Found oh, you it, found dude. the box. They were hiding it. They from were us. hiding it. It's got buzz baits in there for you, too. Dude, dude. pull that whole thing out, brother. Dude, spinner baits, buzz baits. We're gonna have to go through here and just like find our favorites. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh. Yeah, look, Cordell's right here. Oh yeah, cheap section. Right Cordell's, here. yeah. Okay, buzz baits. Got different types of spinner baits too. Dude, what a freaking find this was. We've only been here two minutes and we've already hit the jackpot. I want to start over here on the soft plastic section. There's some zooms. I'm seeing some zooms. The cheapest I've seen so far is 236, but I think we can do better than that. Dollar 96. We found the section. Dollar 86. Dollar 96. So these are just like soft plastic swim baits. Oh, dude, look at that. That actually might catch a dang fish. Yeah, I might grab a couple of those for a dollar 86. They actually don't look bad at all. They've got a little spinner blade on there too. Oh, there's a dollar 42. That one's just like a smaller version. I guess. In the spirit of the challenge, we'll get one of those too. Okay, we still need like an actual soft plastic. What is the cheapest like name brand soft plastic that you see? Looks like we found it. You know what, dude? I'm not even gonna look anymore. I want the cotton candy lizard. I like it. That's what I want. I'm not even gonna think too hard about this. That color is just wild. It's also a lizard. It's springtime. Should work, right? Should, should. I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna get to the bottom of all this. How did we not see the Ozark Trail 236 soft plastics right next to it? And what is a hammer hog? What the f What even is that? It's like a grub devoured a lizard or something. I don't know what it is, but I kind of like it. Oh, dude, here we go. I'm seeing some cheap like wire baits and the cheapest hard baits for sure are right there. The Ozark Trails, which makes sense, but you're looking at a solid 216 for damn near every one of the options. And these Strike King little wire baits over here are 224. I think I'm gonna grab that one right there. That's a good looking one. And then like a bluegill for a backup. Let's get a popper too. Let's get a couple different poppers. Top water was good yesterday at the lake. Oh, they're soaked in there. What is that? Oh, it's that... got like a baby white packaging to it though. It's supposed to be like a mayfly. Oh. What? <laughs> but it opens? So you... I'm so confused right now. Oh, they got it sealed. But it's like, why would you package it that way? Because they're wet. They're gross. Look how wet they are in there. Look at that. Oh my God. Slimy. That's terrifying. Bathed in natural scented solution. Ugh. Thank God that wasn't cheap because I don't want to handle that. It's going to be tough to throw these tiny little spinner baits in the wind that we've been experiencing, but I'm going to get a couple just for the heck of it because they are 224. What about some jigs for a dollar eighty, man? That ain't bad. That's the cheapest jig for sure. A little black and blue, yeah. Let's get a backup just in case. Gotta say this Texas Walmart's pretty nice. It's coming through in the clutch. We're gonna grab a couple more things, but dude, what is that? Pre-made jug. Pre-made jug. But why? What is it? What is the shape? It's uh. Not How does it work? It. You just throw it out there and it. Oh, it just uns it spools itself. It's like Daryl's, but more a little bit more sophisticated. At least it's got the red, white, and blue. That's right. America. America. Let's examine the terminal tackle section and see what the cheapest stuff in here is. Probably Eagle Claw, maybe Ozark Trail. Maybe. Worm hooks, 97 cents, baby. How many fish are we losing today? Well, <laughs> we'll worry about that later. We'll let our future selves handle that. Here's some two aught worm hooks, 97 cents. I'll take it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 94 cent worm weights, 316 ounce, perfect. Grab that, Boom. definitely need that. 
I think we've grabbed like 50 different things, but I bet you we haven't spent like 25 bucks. Hear that? That's what $25 worth of lures look like. Dude, we got a lot of stuff here. We got jigs, crankbaits, soft plastics, spinner baits, buzz baits, swim baits. We've got like everything covered here. We're not gonna break the bank, that's the best part. Let's check out real quick, see what our total was, head out to the lake, we're gonna have a few hours this evening. This is a trophy bass lake, mind you, so we could catch a gigantic fish on one of these cheap lures. Let's see if a one or two dollar fishing lure at Walmart will actually get the job done. All right, guys, we made it to the lake. Now, we went ahead and tied up about four combos to each boat. So it's gonna be myself and Andrew in one boat. We're gonna be throwing a bunch of the different Walmart lures. Then we've got Brad and Jordan from Common Man Outdoors. They're gonna be in another boat throwing the other half of the lures. Gentlemen, I hope you're ready. There's only one goal tonight. There's no competition between us. We're just okay. out here testing out these cheap lures, but I need some of your 10 pound magic here a little bit, man. I'm gonna bring as much mag magic as I can. All right, everybody's rigged up. We're ready to go. Let's go fishing. Let's just, let's just start here. Let's just start now. It feels good to be wearing the boat shorts again, man. It's that time of year. So I decided to go with the old shad imitation, the old lipless. Can't remember how much this thing costs, but it was pretty cheap. And if it can provide me with a big bass. What do you have tied on there, Jordan? I got a spinner bug too. We Are got you on? fish. Oh, I got hit. I had a hit on the spinner bug. I got a black bug. Trailer. And look, it done knocked my blade off, or did this thing only have one blade? There was on only it? one on it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I got the one. Not a, not a fan of that. Plan is simple. Just crank this thing as quickly as I can out here where there's a bunch of shad running around, constantly getting popped by the bass that are about to come up and spawn but they haven't yet. Andrew's got what, spinner bait on back there? Bait, yeah. yeah, targeting some of those shallow water sticks. One of those 99 cent spinner bait, or excuse me, $1 spinner bait. Potential I could catch a double digit on a $1 Walmart bass bait. Fish on? Oh, I got a hit on the swim bait. That's the reason why I tied that thing on there. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Are we on? We're on. Woo! We're on the crankbait. Yeah. Nice, George. All right. We found a fish. Let me help you out here, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Man, Look at that. Old brown eyed girl. We are on the Walmart lipless crankbait. Did not take long with it either. No, we found them. This, this lake just loves lipless crankbait like no other lake. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. Rain makes corn, corn makes whiskey. Ooh, we on. Oh, way out there. Yeah? Yeah. Any good? I don't know. It's also on a $1 or like a $2 Walmart crankbait, so. Be careful. I'm worried about the hooks. Yeah, yeah. be careful. Dude, it's swimming right at us, so I don't really. We gotta get him though. Let's go. Heck yeah, dude. Fish number one. Okay. He's not moving, it makes me nervous. I'm gonna grab this and grab your, oh! Fish number one, not a wall hanger by any means, but the Walmart lure, man. This thing actually has decent looking hooks on it. It's not the old like bronze dull ones that you used to see. Yeah, seriously. They're stepping their game up a little bit. All right, buddy, see ya. Thank goodness, man. I'm starting to lose a little bit of confidence. Felt bad for the guy. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Dude, that's a good one. Okay, one. not bad. But we see, we can tell that moving bait, that's a five pounder you just flipped in here. That ain't five. That fish ain't going five. Right. Lipless crank's got two. All right, no more that's... trash talking the Walmart bait. It's catching them. Oh, we're on. We're on. We're on. Stop it. Oh, there we go. Little bitty old fish, but hey, I'll take it. Was just kind of trolling, trolling just there you go just, trolling a just spinner bug. Kind of trolling it. That's what you do with a spinner bug, you know. You can't get the bite, and you got to move across the water. What do you think? Seven or eight pounds? Uh, uh, I get it real close. I'm on. Doesn't feel very big. 
He's not. Fish number two on the Walmart crank. Look at the hooks on this thing, man. Well, he's barely hooked. Got all to him, though. Dude, yeah, these are these are the ones, man. The Walmart crank claims another victim. Well, it's a little too early, but I'm gonna throw that buzz bait son, dude. Do it. I've got to. It's been on my mind ever since I tied it up. Look at this thing. I used a piece of lizard as a trailer, so it's like super colorful and loud, more ways than one. We had a huge topwater blow up in here the other day. It's a six pounder. So this is a good little topwater area. Oh, can't see, the sun is so bright. Well, I think it's about 30 minutes too early, but it's gonna come out again this evening. All right, man, we need to head over here. The crankbait worked pretty good, but I'm ready to flip some of this shallow brush. I'm ready to use this lizard. It's like a super crazy color. Check that thing out, all rigged up with the cheap weights and the cheap hooks. All right, so a quick little update, folks. We have caught five fish total between the two boats. Jordan and Brad have caught three, and of course I've caught two. We're kind of swapping places on the lake. We're gonna hit each other's areas with different lures and try to see if we can get the big ones to come out. The big ones have not come out yet. The Walmart lures are performing pretty well. I should have asked them how many fish they've lost, yeah, but I mean, true. I haven't lost any yet. They haven't lost any, so as of right now, the cheap lures are doing pretty good. Come here out of the bush pile didn't even feel him at first get him no i went for the boat flip like a real dummy dude how was that i didn't ever get to see it it's like a three and a half pounder freaking destroyed that little purple lizard though right there yes, he did oh dang it we worked this whole pile of sticks finally got to the end got a bite and i messed it up probably shouldn't have tried to uh boat flip with a two aught one dollar walmart worm hook probably not Well, and just to be snagged on an initial cast. Like, how could Hook be in... Oh. Oh, that's a that's a good one. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. oh, he's in there. Oh, he's trying to get out. Oh, he's going around another brush pile. No. He's around it. I'm bringing him to you. All right. Oh, he's... Dude, it's a good one. Grab him, Andrew. Jimmy. Oh, oh, dude, the hook came right out. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Good job, Andrew. Yeah. Holy moly. Like I was saying, the $2 Walmart hooks, not even that big, but man, what a freaking fight. Heck yeah. Dude. Woo. On the lizard, in the brush. I was just talking about how I got bit a cast prior, but man, they are stacked up. They're starting to move up real shallow finally. That's a nice little fish right there. Woo! Man. Not impressed with these Walmart hooks, but we're getting fish in the boat. That's all that matters. These fish are literally an inch of the water right now. So shallow. Like that brush pile that we're just dragging. Got him. <laughs> Dude, that was the coolest thing ever. I was literally, tr oh, he did? he's okay. I was like trolling the lizard behind me, just kind of like bouncing it yeah. as the wind was pushing the boat. Get him in there on the lizard. Let's go. Love that color, man. Yeah, oh, snap, came right out. Dude, this hook is trying. We're gonna have to remove this thing immediately. <laughs> little healthy, fat, little two pounder, man. Nothing to write home about, but hey. They're eating. Dang it, that was such a big splash. All right, man, we gotta get you on a fish, dude. This I'm is my best, man. This is ridiculous. You're throwing the spinner bait, which was working out here like a day or two ago. And now you're telling me it's not gonna work? It's not. I don't believe that. Well, we've caught bass on a couple different lures. I think we need to just keep on trying. You need to keep throwing the spinner bait. I'm gonna switch it up to something else. Oh, there we are. Oh, oh, Drone okay. at the perfect time. Oh, yeah. Nice. Muscle them on up here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, Let's try that again. That's one of them boomerang filters right there. 
All right, we'll wow. take it. Old spinner bug working. Spinner bug is putting in work. Yeah. And especially if you pair it up with the old love grub, you get those things down there in the water doing this action, mm -hmm. fish can't stand it. Wow. Candy, you dirty little thing. Talk to me. You got him. Dude, on the spinnerbait, still. Let's go. Oh, you got him in the boat. Got it. That counts. Oh, it certainly counts. He slapped the camera. He definitely counts. Dude, on the spinnerbait. We got a nice little slam going on right now. We've caught fish on four different lures. Oh, yeah. Okay, where's he at? Where's he at? Begging? Yeah, I did. I think it's decent. Yeah, just get the net, just in case. Oh, no. Nah. That's all right. That's all right. Decent, them Walmart good. hooks, we can't trust them. It's better than the last one, for sure. He's shrinking. <laughs> He's shrinking. He definitely shrunk. Dude, they shrunk so much. Dude, they just attack so hard. No, I know the feeling, man. As soon as they realize they're hooked, they just go crazy. Yeah, bigger than the last one. Let's go. Sure. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Two on the spinnerbait. Yeah, man. Dollar, dollar a piece for those spinnerbaits. They are paying off now. There we go. That feels good. God, they fight so hard. On the buzz. I want this fish. That's the biggest one of the day, too. Come here. I'm getting you in the boat, buddy. Yes! Biggest one of the day. Heck yeah, dude. On top water. Look at that, a butterball. Fat fish. Nice. Look at that crazy freaking buzz bait in his mouth. This was a heck of a fish, too. Kind of bent the hook a little bit. One dollar. Look, tore the skirt off of it. Sure did, dude. <laughs> Let's go. That's such a fat fish. Look at that. It's a pre-spawn female for sure. sure. Tank, so short and fat. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. What a beauty. See you, girl. Why do I keep doing that? Yeah, I know. You splashed us every time. I keep releasing fish like they're a lawn dart, and I keep blowing it back in my face. Boom, one on top water. But I do fear that this thing is wrecked pretty good. I may try to put it back together. Nothing like a top water bite. I had to make some alterations to my buzz bait because the skirt got tore off. So I, I, oh my God, are you kidding me? This just blew up right in front of me. What an insult. I put a little love grab on the back of it just to give it something. I mean, there was no skirt, so I had to give it a little bit of a profile, you know? Give them something to hit. All right, folks, we're wrapping things up right here. But first, let me just say a sincere apology. The audio in this video freaking sucked. So I apologize about that. But I'm literally going to Best Buy later during the storm to get some new microphone equipment because I am so tired of these audio issues and you guys deserve better. But had a great time in Texas, had a great time doing this challenge. That board over there would kind of tell a story. We got plenty of content coming very soon. Some new stuff, some old stuff, a good old all around smorgasbord of upcoming content. As always guys, thank you so much. A genuine thank you from me to you for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. Give me ideas in the comment section, folks. I get a ton of content ideas from the comment section directly from you guys. So don't be shy, get in there. Let me know what you want to see. I know you guys want to see more collabs with Norman Ao. Look, I don't know what to tell you. I just don't think that's gonna happen. Those guys have moved on. They don't work with Google anymore. They don't work with me. You know, you have to ask them, okay? They're gone. They're doing their own thing. Never say never, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. There are plenty of other folks out there that I'd love to go fishing and collab with. And I've got some plans for the summer and late spring already on the books. So stay tuned for that. And as always, there's gonna be giveaways ongoing on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification enabled. That way you guys don't miss an opportunity to win something. I just mailed out a bunch of giveaway stuff from previous giveaways, that Bass Pro Reel, that uh, Spring Tackle Box. Um, there was something else, a loaded tackle box before that. Just sent all that stuff out, so if you are one of those giveaway winners, your stuff is in the mail and it is coming to you. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. I love you, I'm out of here.